I mean, it seems that uh, Detroit has continued to really kind of elevate and get a lot more shine. Yeah. And, and I feel like, I wouldn't really put you in this category, but I feel like you're starting to have sort of a Detroit rap style of kind of rapping kind of fast, mm-hmm. sort of jumping in and out of the beat. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, how does it feel to be from Detroit and really seeing kind of Detroit really have more and more big artists like the Babyface Rays and the Peasies and, and everyone Man, like that? Man, you know what? Ice Wears. Like I watched Babyface Ray, Peasy, Ice Wear come up. You know, I watched them just keep dropping and keep dropping and keep dropping like they've been doing this. It's like I'm just happy that they never gave up on it. And, you know, they they, they kept working with their passion because they finally getting the shine that they got. And I'm just excited to be a part of it. All of them is on my project. You know, I'm just happy to be a part of this group of Detroit rappers that's finally getting their notoriety that they need, that they deserve. Not that. Oh, they want it like they deserve it. You know, like we all been out here grinding for so long and they all sweet as hell. It, it's sweeter than a lot of niggas is out. Like, and it's just like, man, I'm just grateful that we got that spotlight where everybody can see us for our talent. Cause now we have beats out that Detroit style beat or, you know, Detroit, d- this sound like a Detroit rap. Like I'm happy because you, I think New York always get that. <laughs> New York has it. You got to think about over on the West Coast. They, it's like Detroit have not, the Midwest have not just had that 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 shine like that. And I'm just happy to be a part of it because I'm like one of the, I'm one of well, they, you know, me and Dage. And it's like a few other girls coming up in the D2 that's, that, that's doing their thing. And it's, I'm just happy to be a part of it. Now, I love to see it. And I love the fact that like, it seems like it's going and continues to go. Because a lot of times you get sort of like a new style that pops up. Like, you know, you saw it happen in Houston, like with Paul Wall and all them. Like mm-hmm. Houston was on fire. And then suddenly, three, four years later, they moved on to a different city. And, you know, mm-hmm. those artists are still viable artists. But, like, I feel like the spotlight has stayed on Detroit and continues to stay on Detroit. Mm-hmm. And the, the rap style, like I said, like, like I don't really consider, like, what you do, I feel is a little bit different. I don't feel it's like the traditional like Detroit rap style that you see some of these other artists do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think you're a little bit more, you're, you're just unique in, in, in what you do. Thank um, you. But like, but I'm starting to see, like like I said, like, like a Detroit style rap start to really make its foothold in hip hop and it has continued to really grow. And I've interviewed a lot of these artists. You know what I mean? I, we've interviewed PZ, I Swear, um, you know, a lot of these guys. And, um, you know, I, I personally love to see it. And, you know, Detroit has a long history of hip hop uh, you know, I mean, of course, with Eminem, you know, making a big shadow on this whole thing. But like, no one's rapping like Eminem these days in Detroit. You know what I mean? Like, y'all y'all doing your own shit. Nobody rapped like Eminem, period. And, and, period. And, 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 <laughs> em is just M. He just M, man. Like, he that's, that's a legend. That man is an icon. He did something. And nobody did yet in Detroit. <laughs> like, he did. He did it. Uh, all praise. M did his big one. <laughs> yeah. He did. He did. And I don't feel like nobody sounds like him, like M, but he's genuinely from that way. And he's just him. And everybody is that. Like, I don't feel like none of them three you just named. You said, you who you named? Babyface, Icewear, and, and Peasy? None of them sound alike. Peasy, yeah. None of them sound alike to me. At all. So yeah. None of them. They all At got all. their own different flow, all different wave. They all, they all got their own different image like they all different i feel like and, and like you said with me like i i'm unique even from the girls that's coming up like me and dage we're two different girls oh yeah we're two different girls you know what i'm saying yeah. we and we all from the same way so i just think that i just think that you know we all just have our own sound but m that's a different monster right there yeah and i just want to say because a lot of people seem to forget this i really feel like Dej Loaf set a lot of the blueprint, like in terms of the harmonic rap style. I feel like she really set that blueprint. I was, that I was a lot telling of her that in her with. DM, like you need to come back. You can let everybody take yeah. your shit and run. Get back it's in true. the game, coach. <laughs> let get yeah. back in the game. Like I told her that. Yeah, Dej set a tone because that wasn't none of that out until Dej came out. Like I felt like even in the in the history of music, 
in the history of music itself, like that melodic rap, you know, vibey thing she had going. That was, I've never heard a song like that before her, ever. Yeah. So I'm not even going to say, I'm not even going to just say Detroit or this era. I just never heard yeah. that before. 